Let's read the question. The correct order of increasing ionic radii of the following isoelectronic species is. Students for isoelectronic species, we need to know that as the atomic number increases, the effective nuclear charge increases. As a result, the size of ion or atom decreases. That means among the given species, the correct order of ionic radii is order of radii is P3 minus followed by S2 minus further followed by Cl minus and the smallest among the following is K plus. That means the correct order is represented in option number 3. Moving to the next question students which is 52. Molecule having bond angle of 180 degree is. Student the molecule which has linear shape have bond angle 180 degree. So among the given options we have to identify that which molecule are in linear shape. So starting with number 1 CO2. Students the shape of CO2 students the shape of CO2 is linear and the bond angle is 180 degree. Moving to the next option SO2. Students SO2 has a bent shape so the bond angle won't be 180 degree. Moving to the next option NO2. Students NO2 is also bent that means the bond angle will be less than 180 degree. Moving to the last option O3. Students O3 is also bent in shape that means the bond angle is less than 180 degree. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 1. Moving to the next question which is 53. Let's read the question. Which of the following species has permanent dipole moment? So student for this question we need to know that polar species have permanent dipole moment. So among the given options we have to identify that which is a polar molecule starting with number 1 which is BF3. Student, in case of BF3, the geometry is triangular planar and all the bond dipoles cancel out each other. That means the net dipole moment is 0. Moving to next option, which is XCF4. Here, the geometry is square planar and the net dipole moment is 0. Moving to next option, which is PCL5. The geometry is triangular bipyramidal. The net dipole moment here is also 0 since all the bond dipoles cancel out each other. Moving to the last option which is CLF3. The shape is bent T shape. Students this molecule is a polar molecule as all the bond dipoles are not cancelled out. Students CLF3 is a polar molecule and hence has permanent dipole movement. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Moving to the next question students which is 54. Let's read the question. A certain gas takes two times as long to effuse out as equal volume of methane gas under identical conditions. Molecular mass of the gas is. Student, first of all, for this question, we need to know the relation between rate, time taken and molecular mass. I'm writing the relation rate of diffusion of unknown gas upon rate of diffusion of CH4 is equals to time taken for diffusion by CH4 upon time taken for diffusion by the unknown gas which is equals to under root of molecular mass of CH4 upon molecular mass of the unknown gas. Now students rate of diffusion of unknown gas upon rate of diffusion of CH4 is equals to now students it is given that the unknown gas takes two times as long as to effuse methane gas. That means the time taken by the unknown gas is twice of that taken by, by methane gas. So this will be 1 upon 2 is equals to molecular mass of CH4 is 16 upon molecular mass of the unknown gas. On squaring both sides we get 1 upon 4 is equals to 16 upon molecular mass of unknown gas. So molecular mass of unknown gas is equals to 16 into 4 which is equals to 64 gram per mole which is equals to 64 U. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to the next question students. Density of NH3 gas at 227 degree Celsius and 10 atm pressure is where we are given the value of R that is gas constant which is equal to 0 0.08 liter atm per kelvin per mole. Student for this question we need to use the formula to calculate density which is equals to density is equals to pm upon RT where p is pressure, m is molar mass, r is gas constant and t is temperature. Also in this question we are given the values of temperature pressure, gas constant. Also we can calculate the molar mass of ammonia which will be 17 
gram per mole so let's put the values the value of pressure is 10 the value of molar mass will be 17 the value of r is already given 0.08 and the value of temperature is given in degree celsius but we have to convert this in kelvin so temperature is equals to 227 plus 273 which is equals to 500 kelvin so let's put the value 500 students after the entire calculation the value will be 4.25 gram per liter that means the correct answer is option number two moving to the next question students which is 56 mm -hmm.